The 1980s was by far one of the best decades for sports cars. Some of the most memorable sports cars came out in the 80s, but there's a bunch of them you probably don't remember. So what we're going to take a look at is the top 10 best sports cars of the 80s no one remembers. Number one, a Ford EXP. EXP was built between 1981 and 1988. Sports car built on the Ford Escort platform was really a neat car until it was finally replaced by the Ford Probe in 1989. Number two, the Mitsubishi Starion. The Starion was produced between 1982 and 1989. Built with a 2.0 liter or a 2.6 liter turbo inline four, the Mitsubishi Starion was a rear wheel drive concept that was a very beautiful car. Mitsubishi tried to jump on the bandwagon of 80 sports cars but by 1989, the Starion was done. Number three, the Dodge Daytona. The version I'm talking about is created between 1984 and 1993. The Dodge Daytona came with engines between a 2.2 liter inline four, a 2.5 liter inline four turbo, or a 3.0 liter V6. The Daytona was a very quick car for what it was. It just didn't quickly grab a hold of your memory. Number four. The Buick Riata, built between 1988 and 1991. This was Buick's version of a two-seater sports car, coming in with a 3.8 liter V6. A very quick car, also came in a convertible. The Buick Riata was a beautiful car, always had a fascination with this vehicle, but it's one that most people have forgotten by now. Number five, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Crave between 1989 and 2011, this was a front wheel drive that typically came with a 2.0 liter inline four. The Mitsubishi Eclipse evolved with that first generation of the Mitsubishi Eclipse was extremely popular and continued until 1994. There are many other generations of the Eclipse that continued until 2011. Number six, the Mercury Capri. Mercury Capri was built between 1970 and 1994, however, it was the second generation that really became what most would call a sports car, which was created between 1979 and 1986. The Mercury Capri was extremely popular, almost as popular in the early 80s as the Ford Mustang. The Mercury Capri, built on the same platform, just didn't catch enough wind to make it popular enough. Number seven. The Honda CRX. It's kind of a two-seater sporty version of the Honda Civic created between 1983 and 1991. This is an outstanding little hatchback sports car created by Honda. Now later on they did make another version, the CRZ, but for the 80s the CRX was definitely Honda's sports car to eventually be replaced by sportier versions of the Civic. Number eight, the Chrysler Laser. Chrysler Laser is created between 1984 and 1986. This was Chrysler's first sports car. Built on the Dodge Daytona platform, they ran this thing for only three years. There were 60,000 of these produced the first, but by the third year there was only 30. Making it quickly forgettable, quickly canceled. Number nine, the Ford RS200. Created between 1984 and 1986, this was Ford's rally car that they made for the civilian market. Came with a 1.8 liter straight four or a 2.1 liter straight four. The Ford RS200 rally car was really only caught on for rally car fans, but I believe if you made that same concept today, it'd be wildly popular today, but quickly forgotten in the 80s. Finally, number 10. The Nissan Pulsar NX, created between 1986 and 1990. There were four versions of the inline four that the Pulsar came with, and the Nissan Pulsar had the reputation of Nissan, but for some reason, it just simply did not catch on. So there you go, there's the top 10 best sports cars of the 1980s that no one remembers. Sure, there's a few I missed. Put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this episode, Car Classics.